Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Canon printer PIXMA TS9120 printer driver software for your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser here. It doesn't matter which web browser you choose to open, but you want to navigate over to google.com. And once you're on Google, you want to type in to Google PIXMA TS9120. And then you want to type in driver. And you want to hit enter. So PIXMA TS9120. And the best match should say from Canon.com support TS series. You want to click on that link. Definitely recommend that you make sure you're downloading it directly from the Canon website, how it appears here. And you want to left click on the driver and downloads button on the left side here. And this will bring us further down the page. Now it should automatically detect the operating system you're currently using. If you're using this tool to download the driver software for another device, I recommend left click on the drop down arrow and then select the correct version of Windows or Mac or Linux that you're looking to install this driver on. And then you also want to change the language if that is applicable to you. I recommend downloading the first one that says the full driver and software package. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to select this download button right here. Download is about 18.4 megabytes, so it should be a pretty quick download. And then depending on what browser you're using, this appearance might look a little bit different. But once it's done downloading, you want to open it up like you would any normal program. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. You want to left click on the start setup button. Okay, so at this point you want to insert your country or region. So once you've selected that on the side here, you want to select next. And then you want to look through and agree to the end user license agreement. If you want to conduct a survey at the end, you can click on the agree. If you do not want to complete the survey, click on do not agree. That will not stop the installation process. Firewall settings, you must deactivate the block on the software in the Windows firewall function. So keep this check mark filled in where it says deactivate the block. Click on next. So at this point, you'd enter your network connection method. So if you're using a wireless connection, you want to select the first one. If you're using USB connection, you select the last one here. So most people, you're going to want to make sure you turn your printer on and select the wireless LAN connection. And like they remind you, make sure your printer is turned on at this point. Select Next. Now, I don't actually have their printer on my computer, so it's not going to be able to detect it. 
but hopefully for you guys in 99% of the cases if you're using a wireless printer and your printer is turned on it should show up in this list here so it would say select printer from the list you just would select it and then click on this next button right here And then you can see that it will prepare the printer for connection by following the guide instructions. So you would just would follow along with the guide from here. At this point it's very self-explanatory. I would recommend that you do restart your computer once the installer is finished as well as the printer itself. And hopefully everything should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.